Hello and welcome to a Schneider Electric video tutorial. This video will overview some basic setup and features of the Square D Powerlink G3 series controller, including connecting the controller to a network, identifying the controller's serial number, identifying the controller's IP address, and verifying the controller's IP address and serial number over the network. For this demonstration, we will be using a 3000 C level system. Here, we have a basic setup involving a laptop, a standard 5 port Ethernet switch, and our controller. Before we begin, please note the three live bus areas on your controller. Here, here, and here. On our demonstration model, these areas are covered by plastic guards, but this will not be the case in the field, and great care should be taken around these areas to avoid electric shock. With that being said, let's begin. Step 1. Connecting to the network. When connecting to your controller, it is highly suggested you remove any plastic sheathing or locking clips on your Ethernet cable before inserting it this makes removing the cable in the future much simpler. Now, take your unsheathed Ethernet cable and insert it into the Ethernet port located to the left of the liquid crystal display on the controller. If your connection is valid, an indicator light next to the Ethernet port should turn on. Do not try and force the cable into the telephone jack directly below the display. Step 2. Identifying the controller's serial number and IP address. With your controller connected and powered on, you should see a home screen on your display like this. From here, you can identify the model and serial number of your controller. Our model number is located here, NF3000G3C. Our serial number is located here, 230-06-637. To identify your IP address, use the left and right directional keys and the Enter key to navigate the menu as shown. Hit Enter to bring up the menu, select Controller, Communications, Ethernet comms, and TCP over IP. Here, we can see our IP address, our subnet mask, and our local gateway address. Step 3. Verifying your serial number and IP address over your network. Once your controller and computer are connected to your network and powered on, you can verify your serial number and IP address by using the web browser. First, we must ensure that your computer is operating on a static IP address. To do this, from the Start menu of your computer, select Settings, Control Panel, Network Connections. Right-click your network and select Properties. Scroll down to Internet Protocol and select Properties. Under the General tab, select Use the following IP address and enter a static IP of your choice in the field below. Once you've done this, hit OK. Now open up Internet Explorer. Enter your controller's IP address in the address bar above and hit Enter. The index page of your controller should now be displayed in your browser. The top of this page contains your controller's serial number. If the page displays correctly, and the serial number on the top of the page matches the serial number on your controller, then your network is valid and your controller is connected properly. You are now well on your way to unlocking the full functionality of your Square D PowerLink controller. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial brought to you by Schneider Electric.